All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to simulate an inverting op amp circuit. Uh, and I want to uh, do so by first adding a source. Uh, I want to choose a voltage, so I'll type uh, voltage. And I'll hit OK and select it. And then I can hit Escape to stop placing. Next, I want to add some resistors. I can do so uh, from the shortcut or through components. And I'm going to use uh, Control R to rotate this. I'm going to place one there and another one up here. Now I need to set values for each of these. Let's set the value of the voltage for now to be equal to 10. Let's set the value of the first resistance by right clicking on R to be equal to 100 kilo ohms, so 100K. And then let's set the value of R2 to be equal to uh, 1 meg, 1 mega ohm. All right. So I can click OK. Now I have values for each. Uh, by the way, I can zoom to full extent by clicking that, and that will let me see things a little better. Now I'm missing an op amp uh, in the inverting configuration, so I'll go to components and I'll type in uh, op amp and I'll see that this is the ideal op amp I want. Notice that it says you must dot lib op amp dot sub. I need to make sure that I do that. Uh, so I'll place this and then immediately add that. So I'll click this, place it, hit escape. And then before I forget, I'm gonna go up to this and choose spice directive and put dot lib op amp dot sub. Otherwise the op amp won't work. This is the subroutine which governs how the op amp behaves. Now I'm missing a couple other things. I'm missing ground, so I can do that by clicking ground up here. I'm going to place one here and another one over here. Uh, any place that I put ground uh, has the same value, which is zero volts, and it serves as a reference for measuring other voltages in the circuit. It is absolutely necessary to have a ground in my circuit to simulate things in LT Spice. All right, next I'm going to choose wires, and I'm going to connect the circuit as you can see and follow here. Okay, so now you have a circuit, you have values for everything. Uh, next we need a simulation command. In Windows what I can do is just click run and it gives me all the options of simulation commands. Uh, in this case, what I want to do is sweep the value of the voltage because uh, the way that an inverting op amp works is that I expect the output voltage to be negative R2 over R1 times the input voltage. So if I sweep the input voltage, I can see uh, how the output voltage changes. It should change exactly as I said, minus R2 uh, over R1 times uh, V1. So what I can do is choose DC sweep. The source I want to sweep is V1. The start value is going to be 0. The stop value is going to be 0 0.1. And I could set an increment if I wanted. Notice that the command appears uh, to auto populate down here. If I set an increment, for example, of 0 0.01, it would auto populate down there. I'm not going to do so right now. I'm going to let it uh, auto produce that. So when I click OK, this is going to simulate, and at the moment, it shows me nothing. And the reason for that is that I haven't set any probes. So let's first probe the output uh, by clicking down here and hovering over a wire. You see if I hover over a wire, I get a voltage probe. If I hover over an element, like a resistor, I will get a current probe. So I want to set a vol voltage probe right there at the output. Now, two problems with this. Problem number one. Uh, the color, it makes it hard to see, so I can change that. Second problem is that the value is VN002. Now, I don't know what node 2 is, so maybe I want to give this a name. And I do so by choosing label net, and I'm going to call it Vout. And I'm going to attach this right here to uh, my op amp. All right. Uh, next, I want to give the input a name. I'm going to call it VN. I'm going to change this or uh, connect this right up here. Now, before I go back and simulate, I do want to show you that if I make a mistake, like if I have an extra wire, if I want to get rid of it, I go to the cut, 
and I use that to delete things. All right, now to simulate this, I will again click Run. Again, nothing appears. Let's first choose the input, VN. You can see the input as we told it to is going from zero to 0.1 volts. Uh, the problem is this is hard to see, so I'll right click on V of VN and change it to be a different color. In this case, I'm gonna change it to be blue. All right, next I want to measure the output. So I will probe at the output. Um, and what I see is that it does in fact uh, follow the trend uh, negative uh, R2 over R1, which one over 100K is a, or one meg over 100K is a factor of 10. So negative 10 times uh, Vn. But to see that actual gain of 10, what I want to do is change this uh, output voltage to not be going negative. So I can do that with any algebraic expression by taking minus V of V out and uh, I'm going to change the color to magenta to make it easier to see. So now I can see that in fact at 0.1 volts input I've got one volt output which is 10 times my input. And uh, that's really all there is to simulate a simple uh, inverting op-amp circuit like this.